Hi, Heidi Kakamisi here. Are you optimizing your video on YouTube to get the best possible ranking results? If you're not doing certain steps, then you're completely wasting your time when you upload a video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do an annotation so that you can get more views on your video and better ranking results. And if you stay till the end, I'll show you how you can grab a copy of my free step-by-step -step detailed cheat sheet with everything you need to do for on-page YouTube video optimization. So make sure you stay tuned and we'll go right into the demo. So we're going to jump right into the demo, but first, what are annotations? Annotations are different text boxes you can add to your video after you upload it. You can use these to give different call to actions throughout your video, and you should use annotations every time you upload a video to YouTube. So here's how you add annotations to a video. So I'm in my editing section. I'm going to go to annotations. We'll turn that off and we'll mute it as well. So right here, you click on add annotation. There's several different annotations you can use. Speech bubbles, um, we can do labels, whatever you wanna do. So we're gonna go ahead, the one that I like to use the most is the title one. I'll let you, for the sake of time, play with these yourself and find what you're most comfortable with. So we're gonna add a title annotation. I always like to add something to the end of my video that's a call to action. So this one will just say subscribe to my channel. We'll just keep it simple. It's at 72 for the text size. I have white text. If you do black, sometimes it's hard to see depending on your background. So I like to keep it white. Then you can click on it and actually move it wherever you want. I could put it up here. We're gonna go ahead also and get rid of this one by clicking delete here. And now you're gonna go ahead and let's just move it right there. Set the time that you want it to show up. So this is most likely gonna be at the end of your video. So we'll put this at two minutes and this gets a little finicky here, 20 seconds and we'll let it play to the end. So we'll make it 51 seconds. And now I'll show you where it's gonna show up here. So we'll drag this out to right before it's gonna pop up. Go ahead and hit play and we'll take a look. And I spelled subscribe wrong, so we'll change that. But there it is and it should stay till the end of the video. So if you wanted to delete that, you would do it the same way I deleted the other one. You would just find it here in your drop-down box and go ahead and click the garbage can to get rid of it. And make sure you always apply your changes for anything that you add so that your changes are saved. So now that you know what are annotations, how to do an annotation and how to add subscribe annotation and how to incorporate them on YouTube to help you get more views and higher rankings on your videos, you need to make sure you're doing many other things to optimize your results as well. As I said earlier, this is just one of many steps for the best on-page optimization of your video. I created a step-by-step, -step, very detailed cheat sheet of everything you should do with your video when you upload it on YouTube. If you'd like to grab a copy of my free cheat sheet just click on the link in the description below and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos to get the best results with your videos and tips and strategies for generating leads online for your business if you got value from this video please like comment or share below make sure you click on the link to grab your free on-page youtube optimization cheat sheet and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next video